electrical discharge through gases at low pressure. The apparatus used in discharge tube experiment consists of a long cylindrical tube. This tube contains two metal electrodes namely anode and cathode at both the ends. A high voltage nearly 10,000 volts is passed through the tube. In order to observe the changes in the tube, a zinc sulfide screen is placed near to the anode. Soon after the electricity is passed, invisible rays start traveling from cathode to anode. When the pressure of the air inside the tube is reduced to 1 mm of mercury, a greenish glow appears around the cathode, which starts moving towards anode. J.J. Thomson observed such rays traveling from cathode to anode and named them as cathode rays. Properties of cathode rays Cathode rays travel in straight lines. Cathode rays are deflected towards anode when an electric field is applied in the path of cathode ray beam. Cathode rays beam deviates its path in the presence of a magnetic field. Cathode rays create shadows when an object is placed in their path. Cathode rays create mechanical motion.